As I said, uh, I wanted to dig a little bit deeper. Uh, you know, what are some of the things uh, that people should watch out for in 2023 when it comes to the Canadian economy? I, um, I tend to view the world through the lens of equity markets. That's, that's primarily what I trade. Um, there's lots of talk about recession. Uh, there are the geopolitical concerns, uh, concerns about interest rates, and obviously inflation. So th these are much the same concerns uh, as we've had through 2022. If I look forward into this year, um, everybody, this, one of the primary concerns seems to be recession or slowdown, uh, to which my answer would be, it doesn't matter. You see, I've noticed one thing over the years. If I look into this year, where are the opportunities going to be? Where are the possibilities? And first off, recessions, slowdowns, they just come and go. But inflation is a permanent fact of life. It is a constant at some level. Right. And remember, even when it was at 2%, it was never 2%. I mean, the, the numbers are flawed. So I think the thing to keep in mind, we're going to have this battle with foreign inflation, interest rates, they're still cranking them up. I would say as far as interest rates go, we're nearer the end than the beginning. We may have a few more increases, but we're, we're getting to where I think the central banks want to be. I think inflation will possibly ease off somewhat. And as I mentioned earlier, recession slowdown. We may have it, but if you look into this year, there's going to be a tremendous amount of spending going on. I mean, you right. mentioned Russia. The whole, all the world's military are are, have gone, are running out buying new kit. The whole face of warfare, ground warfare, has been changed in the last year. And the, and the, the equipment that people need is quite different than what they needed two years ago. Right. If you look upon Ukraine, it's much like Spain in the 30s, it's it's everybody gets a chance to try out their toys and see what's working and what's not working. And my heavens, everything has to be changed, whether it be with drones or whether it be with, um, you know, cruise missiles. Um, I mean, the Russians thought they would dominate in the air. They can't get a plane up without 15 missiles coming at it. So and there's going to be money spent in electrification of everything. There's going to be rebuilding of infrastructure, shortening of supply lines. I've said this before. I don't think it's going to be as bad as people think it is, because that's my basic point. Right, right, right. So when you're talking to people, uh, would you, your advice would be just sort of hang tight then? No, I think my advice is more than that uh, in terms of, and again, I'm looking at it through the lens of equity markets. Uh, as far as stock markets, that type of thing goes. You know, you and I, Tony, we're old enough to have things in our lives we've been very fearful of. I assume. I know it about you, but I certainly have. And have you ever noticed the fear is usually worse than the real event? Right. Get through the real event. Um, I think the fear of recession right now is pushing equity prices down quite a bit. And I think it's going to be greater than the real event. Uh, for example, uh, you know, I'm, I'm focusing more on the U.S., but I did buy uh, some of the Canadian bank stocks recently. So what, what I'm saying is it's not hang in. I think there are opportunities here right now. I, I'll give you an example. I bought some Bank of Commerce. Now, Bank of Commerce has always been an ongoing disaster as a bank. Uh, they're, they're, there's not a financial crisis that they haven't missed. One of our advisors said they're always walking into sharp objects. But remember, Bank of Commerce is down about 35% right. last year. The dividend yield is a 6.10 or 6.2%. That's like, uh, you know, almost 9%, 8.5% on a bond. And banks don't cut dividends. So I get a decent return. The stock is a way down. So I can start nibbling at stuff like that. I'm just using that as an sure. example. Sure. But the Canadian banks, as I've said before, are a protected species. So there's stuff to do right now because we're looking forward. And I, my thesis is the fear of, real, of what's going to happen is worse than what's going to happen. And that's where the opportunities live. Appreciate your analysis. We're going to take a brief break, Tom. We'll be back to you after the break. Please stay with us.